Hello there, Pyro here. Welcome to another How to Make War Thunder Cinematic Tutorial. In this video, we're gonna talk about replays, recording, and editing softwares. But before we start, be sure to check out my other tutorial videos if you want to learn more. The playlist will be in the cards in the top right, in the end screen, and in the description down below. Alright, let's start with the replays. There's two types, the client-side replay and the server-side replay. Let's talk about the client-side replay first. In every game after the match, there's an option in saving your replays. You will find it here in the results tab on the lower left. But what if you forgot to do this? Don't worry, there's an autosave function in the game. You just have to enable it. In the hangar, go to options, down in the main parameters, go to the replays and spectator mode. In here, enable autosave replays. To access your saved replays, Go to Community and click on Replays. Now your autosave replay will have a name like this with a cogwheel right next to it. For the server side replays, in order to view that, go to your messages and click on the view server replay on your latest battle. Now this will pop up a in-game browser either with Steam or from War Thunder. With server side replay, you can also copy the link to share with your friends or to send it to someone and you can also download replay but I don't do that. Now I'm gonna show you the difference between client side and server side replays real quick. The biggest difference between client side and server side replay is you can view every player in the match. Unlike in client side replay, you can only select the enemy vehicles who are within your range. Here's a quick comparison from server-side replay and client-side replay. The server-side replay will not work on custom battles by the way. It will only work on random matches like this. So if you're making a cinematic with custom battles, you just have to make sure that your friends send you the replay files. Now let's move on to the next topic, recording softwares. This is gonna be real quick. If you have NVIDIA, you can use NVIDIA Shadowplay to record your gameplays or cinematics. I am using NVIDIA Shadowplay right now when I'm making this video. And the other one is OBS Studio. Just remember, if you're gonna make a cinematic, make sure you have a really high bitrate on your capture. Now, for editing softwares. Right now, I'm editing this video with Adobe Premiere, as you can see on the video. But there are other softwares that I have used before, like HitFilm and DaVinci Resolve. I think both of them are free, or both of them have free versions. But I haven't really fully migrated to DaVinci Resolve. I'm still studying the layout. But yeah, those are the editing softwares that I know. And one more thing. If you have this forward and backward transparent in the replay, when you enabled rewindable replay, I don't know how to fix that. I think that's a bug. Because I currently have the rewindable replay disabled because uh, I seem to have an issue with it. So I enable it again to test it out. We're just gonna do one quick battle. He turn his head. What? Alright. Alright, it looks like the forward and backward button for the rewindable replay is working well for me. I guess it was a glitch or a bug before. That comment was 11 days ago when I'm making this video, so yeah, maybe Gaijin fixed it already. I'm not sure though. If you're still having the transparent forward and backward button issue with the rewindable replay, uh, leave a comment down below. But I'm not sure if I can help you with that because I don't have the issue. But now I think I want to test out if the snapshot zoom out issue is still here or the zooming in issue. Let's see. Oh, it's still there. Ah, uh, yep, I'm gonna disable rewindable replay. Alright, I think that's it. I think I answered some of the questions that I've received recently in my previous tutorial videos. But if you have more questions, just leave a comment down below. And if you find this video helpful and you want to support the channel, just leave a like and subscribe. So, special thanks to my Patreon supporters for this month. Sniper, Eggboy, and Atlas. Because of them, I can still make contents like this. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you find this helpful. See you on the next one. Always take care.